Hello, my fishy friends, and welcome back to the channel. Nathan Hubby here. For y'all that don't know who I am, I am just a guy that enjoys, well, I'd say a little more than enjoy, I probably love the aquarium hobby. Um, I am into freshwater fish, and I have 13 aquariums at the moment, but with this lumber here, and the pieces I have out in the living room will add another 55. I will be downsizing the 60 gallon to a 55 and getting rid of that. It's just too deep for me. I like it, but doing any work in there, I get my sleeves wet sometimes, or you just got to stick your whole arm in it. So uh, I got a friend of mine that's going to uh, donate two 55 gallon aquariums to me. So, I will get rid of the 60. We are building a rack. This is the bottom piece because I want the tank to sit as low on to the ground as possible. And then, we come out here. We have the other two frames. We have just some thin plywood. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm just going to do it. And then we have the legs. It's, uh... As you can see, I'm 5'8", so maybe it's 63 and a half inches, whatever that is. So, if we go back here, it's going to be replacing this metal stand for this 55 gallon. Sorry for the shakiness, y'all. Um, so, it'll be 155 on the on the bottom. A 55 in the center and a 55 on top at the moment. Um, not too sure if I'm going to stick with the 55 on top. It does leave like 10 inches, I think, from the top of the tank to the ceiling. So it's, it's an okay amount. In between here, I did 8 inches um, of space between the, the tanks down here, the, you know, the bottom and middle. And the middle and top, I guess you would say. But yeah, this is where they're going. This is where we're at. I've got all the frames built. I'm about to put the legs on it. And pick back up. I will probably include in this video the painting of it. And that's about it. Go, going over how I built them and whatnot. And uh, then I'm going to probably do a live stream when I drain these tanks and put the shelf in place but yeah so that's that for now i'll pick the camera back up when i get the some of the the rack actually built going vertical see you soon Alrighty, folks we are back with clip number two the actual stand is built um Kind of wish I went a little wider, but it is, it does have uh, like a, at least a quarter inch extra play from front to back on the shelf. And it should have an eighth or so side to side, you know, like side to side this way. It should have a little tiny gap. That way it wasn't like a super tight fit. Um, I will lose... A little bit of from the top of the tank to the next shelf I will lose a little bit and it's just the thickness of the plywood and I went with the thinnest plywood that I have for this one um, it is what it is my next rack will be for 40 breeders 50 gallon stuff like that's a little shorter well, actually, I think the 50 gallon is almost the same as the 55, but whatever. To each his own. But it'll work great. It'll still be around 8 inches gap between the top of the tank and bottom of the sh next shelf. So, so next I'm going to be putting some plywood on just because I have it and I can. But it does not need it at this stage. So I could just paint it and go. Um, we are looking at the back side because, like, I did a little oopsie. Um, 
I actually got to bring this corner down, but I might not. That's the back. I might just leave it. The tank sits right here anyways, so this has nothing on it. And it, like I said, it's the back. So, yeah, that's that. We'll pick it right back up when I get the plywood on it. Alrighty, y'all. It is complete. I gotta paint it black, obviously, so it's not super done. But, and I wish the plywood was long enough to go all the way across the top here. Like, you know, see, I still, I'm OCD, so I'm probably gonna sand this or fill it. I doubt about, I doubt I'll fill it, but I'm gonna get rid of those boogers before I paint. But yeah, I wish the plywood went all the way to the end on both sides, on the top at least. Um, but, you know, you work with what I get, what you got. And the, all this plywood that I'll be using was free. So, so yeah. So, let's go in here. In the fish room. Slash bedroom. There's Miss Snarfy Snarf. Want to say hi to the people, Brandy? Want to say hi to the people? Say hi, people. Please subscribe. So. It'll be going here. The TV will be moving. Obviously, all the decorations will be moving. Um, those two paddles, I'm probably going to put above my window. And then the 55 will go here. Uh, like, like I mentioned before, I did build this for 355s. I'm not sure if I'm going to go 355s high. Uh, that's pretty tall with a 55. So I might do like... Um, the 20 long, yeah, the, maybe the 20 long and like um, the two, two fives I have. I have one there, and then there's another one back there that just got plants in it. Um, both of them just have plants and keeping the the sponge filter cycles. You know, feeding it some flake here and there, putting some snails in it just to keep the cycle of those sponges. And keep the plants alive. But anywho. The next step is. To paint that. Get these two tanks drained. And like I said I might do this in the live stream. Where I pull this out. And redo everything. Because it's going to take me some time. Um, in this video. I will include. The painted stand. Probably. Otherwise it's just a five minute video. So. When I do get ready to do this, I believe I'm going to rip up the carpet from the doorway all the way across. That way it's sitting on concrete. It'll be a lot easier to level because I've noticed with all of my tanks, they're all at different angles and whatnot because of the carpet and the padding and the way the tank settles. So I think I'm going to rip all that up. Well, at least where the stands are, because I, I kind of like having carpet under my desk. And I'm building it to where I could leave my desk where it is. That's the hope. Um, so there'll be a stand here. There'll be a stand here with a 50 gallon, which is this tank, on the bottom. Then the 40 breeder. Then one, two, three. 10 gallons on the top. Um, so that'll be there. So there'll be a, a homemade stand. Homemade stand. Then I'm going to take and build another like shelf or platform, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to connect the two stands over top of my desk. So it goes right over top, you know, like that. Um, I'll probably just do one one shelf and then I can do you know another tank or two I could I could possibly put my 20 gallon on here but I do want to keep this stand so I'm thinking I might just leave this because as you can see it has it holds some stuff you know got some rocks back there it holds you know tools and stuff like this one's miscellaneous we got plant so you know all the plant stuff, super glue, weights. This is my air with my 
battery air pumps and extra bits. And then this is miscellaneous fish fam, you know, where I keep all my fish fam um, emails and extra stickers and stuff like that. And then on the side, it keeps all my tools. You know, all my tweezers and my scissors. Uh, some scrub brushes. It holds my thermometer. A couple measuring things. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. Speaking of scissors, we cleaned out uh, some of our cabinets. We've been doing some purging and whatnot. And my wife came across these scissors right here. If you know, you know what they are for. If you don't know, I'll tell you. These are for cutting candle wicks when the candle gets too far down. You know, so let's just pretend like this is the candle. The wick is down here and it's so long you can stick this in there and you cut them. I found this great for cutting like um, plants that you want to keep low to the to the substrate, like carpeting plants. So, for instance, this stuff that just got covered up by sand, that would be good to cut that type of stuff. Um, pearl weed, if you have a bunch of pearl weed, you could just go boop, 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 boop. I mean, they open pretty decent. That's enough to get a couple stems in there. Even stem plants. I've used them to where I drop down. I don't have to get my hand wet. And I cut that stem plant. I mean, that's half of, that's a little over half of a 40 breeder deep. So if you're looking for another pair of scissors, like specialty type thing, candle wick cutter. You even have this pretty little, oh look, Yankee candle. They even have a pretty little design on it. But anywho, we're getting so off topic. Just thought I'd share that. That's pretty neat. When I seen that, it reminded me I wanted to show y'all. But yep, there's where it's going. And the stand is built. So the next clip you will see is of a painted stand. I was thinking about doing neon green. Or like uh, purple. Oh, I forgot to put a fifth screw. One, two, three, four. I'll have to do that real quick. So you'll have to just wait and see what color I choose in the next clip. But until then, which is just a blink of an eye for y'all, but a day or so for me. We'll see you in the next one. Alright folks, well, as you can see, the stand is complete. So I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get 355s on here. Um, it's not going to give me a lot of room. I'm not even showing you. A lot of room between the top of the tank and the top of the, or the bottom of the next shelf. But that's where we're at right now. I got a 20 long that I'm fixing on there right now. Everything's painted. And it's going to go right here. And, uh, I don't know. I may live stream it. I may do a pre recorded. And like do a premiere. But yeah. There's the stand. We'll see you on the next one very, very soon. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.